we had a, a good break in between Cordova and NIT to really rest and get over the COVID and uh, get our legs back underneath us and whatnot. So by NIT, we were fresh and ready to go. And uh, we kind of had a pretty tough opponent with Sioux, Sioux Valley in the first round and pulled that one out. And uh, it was great that we played them because they played the same defense Lumen did and which really got us ready for it. And uh, having played them already, I kind of knew what I needed to do in order to win that game and cooked up a game plan. Uh, the guys understood it and knew the, the cues of when to be and what. And And it was so much fun to watch those guys take it to a team that we was here beating by 50 and pretty much dominate the game the entire, the entire game. As a coach, as a, a fan, as any kind of just random person, I'm looking at that and thinking, that special. That's to see all the hard work they put in for uh, you know, the summer camp, the, the hard competition at the start of the year, the workout, the, the buy-in uh, for such a long season. We could we could see it really paying off. We still have one more game. Uh, we still have one more game to play to win this, and they're not going to give it to us by any means. And I just knew it was going to be a hard fought game. After coming off, you know, the high of beating pretty much a rival at this point, um, I felt like they were kind of out of gas <laughs> a little bit and weren't as motivated as they should have been. Couldn't get a shot. Uh, I think we had only had four points in the first quarter, but it really hurt the game. We missed seven free throws. Uh, we got out-rebounded. Uh, we just got outplayed. He goes back up and he, he gets the reverse layup and the and the and one makes his free throw. We go up uh, two points and that's that's huge. That's the game essentially.
try to bounce back from that loss at NIT. Really, the morale is the main thing I'm trying to focus on, trying to just get these guys to realize we still have a lot of basketball left and we're, got, we're about to head to Toke. Play a bunch of teams there. Originally thinking Point Hope was going to be there. That would have been a great, great game to be a part of and play. Um, but, you know, silly me, I'm thinking, you know, looking at Point Hope. And here we have Hope, our first game. And I'm thinking, I've heard that you know, with our level of play, I thought we could handle them. Too. And um, it was probably the worst game I've seen kind of play since I've been a coach. Um, very poor shot selection. I think we had 30 turnovers that game, something ridiculous. And the one kid for Coke was just hitting everything. And this game goes down to the wire. I mean, it's like 60-60, uh, second left. We end up getting the bucket, go up 62-60. To win a game after playing that bad, was just, I mean, obviously good, but still, you know, are, you know, depressing. And trying to continue their morale, and continue to build it from even that as well, is difficult, you know. And, uh, you can coach everything but attitude. And so we win, we, you know, escape that. And thank God it was a win because then we show up for Northway. Northway plays us a good game. So it was just one of those tournaments where bouncing back from probably the peak of our season, and still having to play basketball was the most difficult challenge. Um, but these guys pulled it out. I didn't play Isaac pretty much that whole tournament, uh, which really hurt us because he's he's our he's our guy behind the scenes doing everything. And uh, you could tell that we're a different team without him. But to still win and go and, and win that tournament and bounce back uh, really gave us some new life for sure.